And I know there's wars going on in the world where people are fighting. They always have been. And there's been a battle in the heart of humanity since time began between light and dark. But we live in a time, a very special time. I believe this is a time of destiny for the human race, where we come through that battle. See, there's so many different scenes and so many different stages inside of that story. And we each find ourselves in one of those different places. For some here, we've come through to the other side, and we know how to stand in the light. We know how to stand strong, and we know how to hold a healing space for those that are waking up and facing the shock of their own humanity, of how they've been. And for some out in the world, they're still in that space of feeling oppressed, like they have no voice, no ability to see. Like there's a box around the consciousness that they can't get out. Like there's puppeting of leaders and media and people just trying to keep us down and control us. And that becomes an illusion. Have you ever known the voices that seem to surround us and spew lies into our mind and heart? And yet, there was no fighting. You don't fight the darkness. There is no fight. It's just move towards the light. That's our journey. That's how we collectively transmute this entire thing. And it happened through one. Through one. Having the courage and the willingness to let the lies fall away. And to move towards that light to stand strong and courageously. And what did he do? What do each one of us do? Each one that comes into the light. We have to embrace our inner child. There's a piece of us that is pure and innocent that lives inside of our heart. And sometimes it's hurting. And it needs us to give it love. See, the war between light and dark is really between love and fear. And it exists inside of each one of us. And we can see it magnified on the world scene. We can see it in others. But right here, this is where it lives. This is where the work is done. This is where we win and we come through into our destiny, into victory, without fighting, by moving towards light by embracing that pure and innocence and pulling it into us. One, one did it. And then others awakened and others awakened and others awakened and others awakened more and more and more until the entire body of humanity awakened into a new reality. That's what I believe our destiny is. It's a mass awakening through all humanity. That's what I live for. That's why I'm here. That's why I give my essence. That's what I see inside of the people in front of me. That's what I see in the people that I meet in the world. Even if all you know is that darkness, that light is inside of there still. There is a divine identity that is the truth of who we are that is still held pure and intact by that inner child that lives in our heart. And as we come into that space, as we integrate that, we are sparking the awakening. It only takes one, but it takes one everywhere. The days of one savior, one enlightened master, those days are in the past. These are the days that call for each of us and every one of us to step into that space, to be that one for our world, for our community, for the groupings of people that are around us that still feel oppressed and beat down and don't know how to get out of the control 
We are that one. And we're called forth. We answer the call. We can. The light is there. The light is waiting. The light calls us to come into the truth, the truth of who we are, to integrate that part into us. Each and every one.